Artanis, Hierarch of the Twilight Council, Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my bleed will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar? Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Talgarim's death fleet amasses its slain, awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix. Rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose among them. New Talgarim robotics have been constructed based on Alarak's specifications. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Almar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch. Your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The Kala was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it, and when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. I believe I have found a way to save our people. 
As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulmar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Kerax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calgarim speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. A shame. I was enjoying the solitude. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. Then this is something I hope to witness. Within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. 
The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zerg broods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Tal'Darim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's core. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Kerax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Selnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lentinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. 
The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy, but it certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be, now things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Cyrus, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Amon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Thank <laughs> you. 
The area is secure. The warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the megalith. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. The megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. The Megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. the stasis locks safely. has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work.
Megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the Solarite components within. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. You must construct from the shadows I come. This warrior awakens. You have not enough minerals. Megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. and the grid is now at 60%. The Megalith is en route to the third lock now.
objectives have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. Well done, warriors. The Megalith is disabling the third lock. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. We meet the enemy in battle. I am detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Toggle the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. is almost destabilized. The Megalith will relocate shortly. Disabled, and the Megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. Zerg hive cluster between the megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. From the shadows, you must construct additional pylons. I return to sick. Link authorized. The Megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location.
Destabilization is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. down and the megalith is traveling stasis grid at 20 percent wait i'm detecting activity in the zerg hive nearby they're reinforcing the last lock lock is destabilizing and the grid is down we've done it cybros is free from stasis we call our forces from indian surface we take this battle to cybros <laughs> <laughs> 